Hello again, I'm Amanda, and welcome to Spotlight Makeup. How you liking that new red background? I was looking at my old videos, I'm like, wow, I am the exact same color as my dining room wall. Fabulous. So, today I will be teaching you how to cover your eyebrows. Basically, for those of you who don't know, covering your eyebrows is just, you know, flattening them down so you can put things over them. If you do a makeup that requires no eyebrows, you do that. Or you could put gems over them. Go wild, you know? Imagination, think outside of the box. But today we're gonna cover eyebrows. So, let me put my hair up and we'll get started. Okay, boys and girls, today we're going to cover the eyebrows and the three methods that I know for covering eyebrows are as follows. Soaping your eyebrows, glue sticking down your eyebrows, I promise you it's not harmful. Spirit gumming down your eyebrows and also covering them with um, scar wax. Okay, so our first method we're going to try out is soaping the eyebrows. Now I didn't, I bet some of you didn't know you can do this. It's probably not the most effective way. I mean, you need to try out what works best for you. It depends what color your eyebrows are, how thick they are, if they're all squiggly weird like mine. You know, I got the one eyebrow that's like a pricker bush this way. I don't understand it. But you take soap scum from soap. You get a cup of water and some soap. And basically, you, you soap your eyebrows. Just like so. You soap them down. And you gotta let that dry. You can use a hair dryer to speed along the process. Um, I'm just gonna soak both these eyebrows down. And this is probably the nicest way for your skin than using any kind of chemicals or school supplies. Soaping your eyebrows is very gentle. It's probably recommended for people with thinner eyebrows if you don't want to do really crazy spirit gum on your eyes. Um, and if you have a little eyebrow brush that helps, you know, smooth it down. And I'm just gonna jump ahead to where these are dry. All right, I blow dried my eyebrows dry. Um, if you have weird eyebrows like me that stick out a little bit extra, you might need to do a second layer of soap scum, which is what I'll do right now. Let me bend down, look in my mirror so I don't poke myself in the eye with this. And you know, one or two or three layers is probably all you really need with this. It's the easiest method, it's probably the cheapest method of covering your eyebrows. I mean, who doesn't have a bar of soap in their house? And if you don't have a bar of soap in your house because you're a dirty, filthy person, or use exfoliating body wash, you know, because you have sensitive skin, just go buy a bar of soap. It's like a dollar. It doesn't have to be good soap. It could be hotel soap. Steal soap from a hotel. I am not promoting stealing, but really, who doesn't take the stuff from a hotel? Come on. I leave the Bible, that's about it. And then I'm just gonna put my blow dryer on my eyebrows, dry it quickly like that. It's better than sitting around unless you have that kind of time, so I'm just gonna do that real quick. And there we go. I've soaked my eyebrows down. I'm gonna give you a close-up, not that you want one, but you can, hold on, let me turn the camera around. You can clearly see that my eyebrows have been slicked down to my brow bone, nothing poking out. I know it looks icky up close, but you'd cover this up with makeup. I know there's like soaps come in there. But guess what? Guess what, boys and girls? Um, this, this is the easiest to take off. Because guess what? Guess what? Can you guess? It's soap. It comes off with water. Bam. Easiest makeup trick ever. So I'm going to remove this, and then I'm going to teach you how to cover your eyebrows another way. Boom. One second. Okay. Now that I've restored my eyebrows to their former bushy glory, we're going to talk about glue sticking your eyebrows down. Now I know what you're thinking. Amanda, is it safe to put school supplies on my face? Absolutely, as long as they're non-toxic school supplies. Now I've checked this glue stick, it's non-toxic, it's washable, it's totally fine. I bought it at Staples. You know, so if Staples wants to sponsor me, I'm really poor. So, it's basically the exact same way we soaped our eyebrows. We're just going to take the glue stick and 
glue stick over our eyebrows. I wish it was more complicated for you, but honestly, it's, it's that easy. You just glue stick your eyebrows like it's arts and crafts, ladies and gentlemen. Ugh. Take your eyebrow brush, brush if you have, you know, weird eyebrows. Brush the eyebrow up so you get the hairs to stick to your forehead easier. If you brush it up, that gives it more skin to stick to than just trying to stick to other eyebrow hairs. So do that and kind of glue stick it up like that. And then get the other eyebrow, like so. Next, I'm gonna show you how to do a diorama with nothing but sofa cushions. Ugh, it feels kind of gross. But you know what? Some people have allergic reactions to spirit gum, so a glue stick would be better. If you have thick eyebrows and the soap scum doesn't work for you and you have allergic reactions or skin sensitivities to spirit gum, Glue stick is the way to go, I'm telling you. Just check the label, make sure it says non-toxic and washable, all right? Eee! Uh, uh. And just do the little brush a -rooney. I look attractive. Just giving you an up close of what your eyebrows will look like clearly slick to my head. As you can see, I have weird eyebrows. Um, and let the glue dry before you put makeup over it, depending on what you do. If you're an alien, if you're, I don't know what you are. I don't know your life. Now I'm going to go to the third method. My least favorite method, the spirit gum method. And we're back, restored to former glory. Seriously, if I keep this up though, I'm gonna end up like one of those old ladies who don't have eyebrows and then they have to draw it on two inches above where they're supposed to be, so they always look really surprised. The next method, my least favorite, but probably one of the best for thicker eyebrows, is the spirit gum method. Now I'm using Ben Nye Matte Spirit Gum, and it is an adhesive, it is a glue, and do not Put this on your face unless you have spirit gum remover or some kind of bond off. I'm telling you, look in my eyes, okay? I'm telling you right now, normal makeup remover will not take this off. I mean, maybe if you scrub at it for hours and hours and you know, you irritate your skin and you become really unhappy and you put alcohol nail polish remover on your face. Just make sure you have spirit gum or some kind of strong theater makeup bond off makeup remover. Now that that public surface message is out of the way, let's put adhesive on our face. This comes in a little brush. It's like nail polish. So what you're going to do, you're going to coat it on your eyebrow like so. Be generous about it. Get it on there nice and gloppy, all right? Get the whole eyebrow, get around the eyebrow, you know, cause this, ugh, spirit gum can be so stubborn. I don't know why spirit gum doesn't like me, but it doesn't, so. You put it all around your eyebrow, and um, basically we're going to brush it up like we have with the other ones, so it sticks to your forehead. Spirit gum is tough because it will not become sticky until it becomes slightly tacky. You will never be able to stick anything on your forehead with spirit gum unless you apply it, let it sit a little bit, and then try to stick because it needs to be tacky. If it's just wet, it's going to fall right off. I hate spirit gum. I hate it! I hate! I hate! I hate it! Anyway, brush up. Ooh, and if it starts to feel like glue, you're doing it right. Brush up. You really should have an eyebrow brush for this, because if you use your finger, your finger's gonna get stuck to your forehead, and you're not, you're just gonna look like you have a bright idea all day, like, like really, I don't know. 
people are gonna start asking you things because they think you know stuff and you don't. You just glued your finger to your forehead. Let's look in the mirror. Just coat with spirit gum, coat with spirit gum, brush up, and you're gonna probably have to do second layers. So let me do all that fun stuff and I'll be back. Now that I'm miserable and covered in spirit gum and I have wonky eyebrows. My eyebrows are covered. They're glued down. La, 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 la. Now, here's the actually, actually covering part. What we're going to do now is we're going to take scar wax, nose and scar wax, so you can use mortician putty or whatever you want. Um, we're going to take globs of this and put it over our eyebrows and we're gonna end up looking like Cro-Magnon men. This stuff is really sticky. It's like peanut butter. And a good way to handle this is if you cover your fingers in makeup remover and then try to work with it or else it's just gonna stick to your fingers and you're gonna be angry and shouting and spiteful at the world. So take the nose putty and start to roll it. And roll into a little blob and you're going to press it. Here, let me make it close. Going to press it onto the eyebrow. And then, oof, oof, it's already sticking to my hands, see? And then you're going to smooth it out so it blends in with the rest of your skin. So it helps if you have um, this brush with a spatula end, or you can use an actual spatula depending what you have, or you can just use your fingers if you're trying to save money, it depends. Tools help sometimes. So let me do that. Ooh! It's so icky! Ah! 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 Okay guys, I officially have one eyebrow covered. Take a look at that. Ooh! Looks like I had a waxing accident. Now I have to take care of the other eyebrow, so just do the same method. Just scoop out a bunch of your nose and scar wax, and then roll it into a little ball, and if it starts to stick to you, get some makeup remover on your hands, and that'll be easy to, easier to handle it. Get your little blob, and smoosh it over your eyebrow, like so. Ugh. It feels icky, but it ends up looking so good. And then we just smooth it out. I've been using my spatula a lot. It really helps compared to your fingers because your fingers will stick to this a lot. So let me just smooth it out. Okay, and now we look like some kind of weird Cro-Magnon man. Now, if we close up, obviously the putty is not exactly the same color as my skin, but what we do is we take, come, come on a journey with me to find my skin color. We take Ben Nye cream, that's your skin tone, and basically you put it all over and over your eyebrows so everything's the same and matching. Um, I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, but that's the gist of it. Unless you're doing something else in your alien, do everything green. Or if you're a devil, do everything red. Whatever floats your boat. But those are the three ways to cover your eyebrows. To review, we have soap scum, glue stick, and spirit gum. And you can use the scar wax over any of those three methods. I just saved this to the end because it would be really annoying if I used up all that scar wax and did it over. Thank you so much for watching Spotlight Makeup. I'm Amanda. Bye!